Hello, my name is Zhen Hong Chen. I'm a former director of National Chengdong University Museum. Uh, today I would like to talk about a theory that I proposed several years ago, the Initiator Activity Function Theory. Um, I think it can be used for planning new roads in multiple museum networks. Uh, so this is what uh, I would like to emphasize today. First, the introduction. Uh, both on science and technology museums and uh, university museums, we face many challenges today. For example, science and technology museums need to be distinguished from science center, and we also need uh, new roles and functions for science and technology museums. For example, uh, museums uh, focusing on humans' activity of scientific studies uh, should be more emphasized instead of nature and technologies. Another example is that the Museum of Social Sciences is needed. Because we already have a lot of museums of social issues. This difference is that uh, the former is about how we uh, human beings study the social science, like how we study a war. Uh, but the later uh, is that uh, event or social issue uh, we try to like to demonstrate them, such as a war memory. Uh, on the other hand, for university museums, we have many chances. It's a good place to test new ideas, such as uh, a lab for museology. Uh, it, it's new roads to connect different uh, disciplines within campus, and also to connect the campus industry and the government and the local community. And we also have the responsibilities to close the gap of museum works on nature and social scientific activities. Uh, finally, we have challenges, usually uh, with very limited resources and other missions. We also have administration um, limit or a restriction. So the solutions are uh, about a, a multifunction platform and the networks uh, by playing multiple roles of museums. Um, Museum being a platform is a uh, common uh, sense now, but we like to focus on it has multifunction. And uh, I also like to talk about the network. So IF theory, uh, which I proposed uh, uh, in 2018, provides a simple model about the relationships among different collection and platform. Uh, so you can start from any uh, part, collection or uh, platform or outreaches. Uh, there are uh, different modes. So we have this initiator or motivation. We usually expect that it can have some uh, uh, activities as another uh, goals. And uh, I found that uh, luckily we can have extra functions. And these are examples. So now uh, we only lack the last uh, mode. For multiple museum networks, I mean, uh, usually, we have a vertical administration framework, such as Ministry of Education, University, and then University Museum. And we would like to create more horizontal networks, such as micro network within campus. We can connect different museums within campus. Uh, we also have large or macro scale networks, like the UMAC, ICOM, uh, the international network. But we need more meso networks such as University uh, Museum Network uh, within a, a country or a local uh, regional network, no matter what kind of museum you are. Uh, maybe we can also have a theme network that is uh, like uh, all art galleries can be uh, get together. So uh, I think in the future, when we have new activities, the staff in a museum start to plan uh, our activities using this IF uh, mind setting so that we can uh, plan that we can have more functions uh, because it's possible. And we also need to, to uh, contact in this uh, with many helps from other uh, resources that uh, we think is different in network. So more networks, we can have more help, you know, have extra uh, resources. 
Uh, so the conclusion that it's important to participate and helpful to become a multifunctional platform, and we would like to develop networks for museums. So I have a theory can help museums staff plan new activities within a broader vision and deeper expectations. Thank you very much.